evening, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. It's Sunday evening. Um, and I just want to quickly do my usual weekly analysis um, of the market. That's basically just, you know, what I where I think the different currencies I'm going to be looking at are going to be headed out or are going to, you know, just how they're going to move this week direction wise. Um, so before I get into that, please like, subscribe, share this YouTube channel, um, click on the notification button if you want me to keep on um, creating value, be value with regards to, you know, Forex and crypto um, education. So today we are focusing on the currencies and um, I just, you know, this is gold for starters. Um, gold has been in a range as you can see from last week, but one, we've been in this, you know, um, sideways, kind of a consolidation uh, move, um, but we've also just since um, the 14th as well, we've been, 14th of April, we've been moving, like just maybe a week and a half ago, we've been um, trending upwards. Um, that's basically how it looks. Um, yes. So right now, on as of, as of Friday, we hit um, this resistance level. Um, this is a key level because um, once, twice, thrice. I keep on saying every time there is like a multiple attempts to break the the highs or the lows, and there's failure in doing that. Usually, there comes a major rejection, and we can see. Um, over here, that's exactly what's happened. Anyway, so my take this week is that gold, let me look at the daily um, before I say anything. And guys, don't mind my many, many lines and whatnot. Um, these lines help me see a bit better. So if I look at it from this perspective on the daily, um, gold rejected this level, okay? So I'm kind of seeing like possibly, you know, it's, 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 this is a really key level. So if it breaks through this level, then we're going to definitely be on a beginning of a change, complete change in trend, okay? So it's still about the 50 MA, <clears throat> but my take is if it breaks through this, then we should be headed down, but there's this rejection. So you can find this a bit of, you know, um, you can say uncertainty because it's just right now in no man's land, really. Um, sellers, there's no one really who's in charge, sellers or buyers. Um, so I feel like I would have to wait and see. We are, we are definitely on a support right now, okay? Um, definitely on a support level. So or this is, you know, so I think what we can wait and see because of this rejection, I we could begin to see a push to the upside. So two scenarios that it drops and, you know, as, a, as soon as it crosses the 1764, it should drop. But my feeling at this point in time, if I look at it on a longer perspective, is that we likely will push to the upside. So I'm, I'm expecting... Um, a break in the trend, uh, or rather a break in the resistance level here, onto the upside. That's gold. We have Euro, USD. I'm just gonna look at the major currency pairs. I look at gold because I trade gold a lot. Um, with regards to Euro, USD, Euro, USD is also bullish, okay? It's now at, as well at a strong support um also the support trend i mean the resistance trend line it's totally above the ma's um so it was consolidating pushed up and has been in this you know so i feel like it there's a gap here that needs to be filled but we are at a resistance okay so i would like to see it, it you know push up until the 1.21953 level possibly retrace before it continues to the upside. So that's Euro USD. Euro um, GBP, again, I'm just looking at the pairs I often trade. Euro GBP is bullish. 
I'm really bullish for Euro GBP to the level of 0.880016, just uh, hitting the 200 MA, EMA. So yeah, I'm bullish on Euro GBP. So we look at that uh, market open London session, possibly, um, yeah, bullish on Euro GBP. Euro CAD, again, looking at pairs that are trade guys. Same drill with Eurocard, still moving to the upside, cross the 50 MA. Um, I'd love to see just, you know, push up to, you know, how many pips would this be? To previous highs, 70 pips, but I really see it, you know, possibly gaining more momentum and pushing about 100 pips to the upside, 100 plus pips to the upside. Um, this is basically just respecting market structure, nothing else. Um, so that's the euro pairs. I want to look at GBP pairs, a couple, GBP USD. GBP USD on the other hand, let's see what's happening here. Let me just clear it, things a bit. So GBP USD, you can see it's been on a range, okay? Up, down, up, down movement, although it's kind of scaled a lower high here okay but it's on a very strong um this is a very key level very strong support resistance level i i feel like it so it pushed up okay retested created a lower high or a higher low here so a low low a higher low and i feel like it wants to keep pushing up okay um that's what i'm seeing but of course we'll see what happens um and we might we might just see like you know it's forming a wedge pattern here so we might just see a uh, movement like you know you know just something like that you know um so i'm bullish on gu for now but you know this is on the long term as well you know it trend retested key zone here rejected the zone just you know, so I feel like because it scaled a higher high, it may attempt to go all the way to 1.41007 at least, you know, but it, it will possibly push down at some point as it's moving up. So GBP CAD, um, GBP CAD is, sorry about that. GBP CAD is almost looking interesting. Um, GBB, GBB, GBP CAD. So GBP CAD, again, when you look at it overall, long on a long, long term, okay, GBP CAD has been in stuck in this sideways uh, zone, okay. Um, but you know, since August. 2019 it's been pushing up scaling lower highs i mean low higher lows um consolidated for a bit um and now is at this level of 1.73025 that's on the daily so my take is we might see a push to the downside okay um we might see try to attempt to you know just retrace Okay, um, because of this rejection here, not really a rejection, but because of this drop, it may just continue onwards to the downside. That's what I'm seeing. But I feel like maybe if I look at the lower time frame, yeah, it's 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 definitely looking um, because you see this consolidation, it's definitely looking like it wants to drop. Okay, so that's how it's it's. it's and and you know this is kind of like almost like a head and shoulder that formed here not very clear kind of also here there's a bit of a maybe head and shoulder kind of thing but i'm bearish on gcat gbp jpy um gbp jpy is just Why? Let's see what this baby is all about. Let us look at the daily. The daily. So, guys, I'm an intraday intraday trader. 
So I just trade the daily chart majorly and I look at the 30 minute for my entries. Um, but what is it? What is GJ telling? What is GJ? Let me just clear my screen a bit, a bit messy, but no. Uh, so GJ is just like, okay, it's also been consolidating, but it's been on a on an uptrend. Okay, it's been bullish for quite a while. Um, whether it continues on its bullish run, maybe not right now. I think we are just possibly about to descend. If it crosses the 50 MA here, I think, you know, just looking at it structurally, you know, just the movement of price. We are at a key resistance here and we are scaling lower highs. So I'm bearish on GJ. Why did I sell bearish on G? Because it was looking kind of different. Yeah, I'm, I'm bearish on G. I'm bullish on G. That's fine. GBP. Um, what else? So that's basically it. Let's look at AUD USD. AUD USD. I'll keep this short today. I don't want to take too much time. AUD USD looking bullish on the daily, but it's on a resistance. Still, some move, some possibility for a push to the upside. A bit of a rejection um, last week. Okay, and scaled, ended up, you know, lower than the previous high. So, and it's just resting, you know, in a consolidation zone here, kind of. Um, let me look at a lower time frame. Long term, I think, you know, we can see, okay, this is just me. I was in a class last week, Thursday, and I haven't looked at my chart since. So they're a bit messy, you know, when you're trying to teach students and you're doing all sorts of things. Um, so what I think at this point in time is that this baby here, you see this consolidation drop here? Nice, 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 nice. I feel like there's a bit of rejection here. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a continued continued push to the upside um, on AUD USD. Um, these guys were basically fighting with Tokyo last week over trade agreements and whatnot. And so yeah, it was a bit of volatility. So, on the lower time frame, we're still in consolidation, as far as I can tell. Rejection here, rejection of the Amy's, Amy's. Uh, I'm, I'm really bullish on AU, um, but it's really right now on no man's land. It's, it's, you know, it tried to break this level, failed, and it's it's possible it could push down, but I would much prefer if it pushed up. Don't ask me why I'd much prefer because I just feel like longer term we've been scaling, you know, higher lows. So AUD JPY. Oh boy. So I'm trying to clear my chats, guys. So sorry about that. Messy, 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 messy student chats. Um, 
let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't want to clear everything because some of my markings are still very, very relevant. Very relevant for, so I don't need to throw everything in the bin. So that's how AUDJPY is looking. And similarly, I'd like to see it push to the upside. It's right now at a, you know, it's been consolidating, try to break here, failed, pushing to the downside. All I can say is if AUDUS JPY breaks this, oh my God, we are dropping like it's hot. But I don't know if she's ready. I feel like she needs to move up a bit and then, you know, just make, I don't know if she's ready. I don't know if she's ready. I don't know if she's ready. But there's room for a down, you know, a drop. There's room. There is room. There definitely is room. So you can see a descending wedge triangle there. Okay, so hence, you know, could be a bias to the downside. But I feel like she'll push up. That's just my feeling. So possibly push up first, then drop, but I want to see it push up. If not, we'll see it, what happens at market open. Um, so I think guys, I've done AUD, JPY, AUD, USD. Let's look at US 30. Let's look at an index. One of my favorite things to trade. Fave. When I say fave, guys, I mean it. I mean it. Indices are like awesome. You know, like your trump card. You know that thing you remove when now you're like, you can't see anything in the market. You always find a move in the indices. With the indices. So I like to trade US 30, German 30, blah, blah, blah. I'm not yet, I've not yet really gotten into like NAS and whatnot and SPX. And you know, I just like I keep it simple. You know, I trade one or two indices and that's it. You really can't trade everything in the market, but um, so I I started trading US 30 um two years ago. And I just realized I love how it moves. It matches my trading personality, like down pat, perfect, perfect. So yeah, that's why we trade indices. So I'm just trying to make my chart a bit cleaner. You don't have to delete everything. So this is what has been happening. It's been a bit of, you know, push, pull, push, pull with uh, US 30. And um, what can we say? We can say that this baby is like, has been on an uptrend since March last year. A lot's been happening with COVID and you know Joe Biden, uh, president of the US on Friday made some announcements that just made the cryptocurrency market tank and whatnot and you know so the indices were affected mildly that's all i can say i mean there's been not much interesting stuff going on i mean just ugly looking charts i keep saying these charts are ugly looking so like you can see in the 30 minutes we are literally in a range there's a rejection on this high, okay? Um, so what I see is a break to the downside. It could, or it could just bounce off this level here. You know, so bounce off, bounce back. <laughs> So, my people, my people, guys, if you get value from my videos, please, by all means, let me know, let me know, let me know. Okay, I'm just getting now pedantic about looking at my, 
clean charts, cleaner charts. So we are at a support and resistance here. Okay, so price is a, is on a support right now. I feel like it's going to reject. I feel like are you seeing this? I mean, these are things we see like when we are trading. Um, see this, see this bit. The fact that it's retested this is a good sign. I feel like it might, you know, push up a bit, push up a bit, you know, push up, you know, something like that. So I'm bullish on US 30, definitely. But we might see it just, you know, drop a bit, drop a bit, drop a bit, drop a bit. Yeah, we might see it drop a bit some more. And usually I say, you know, what I'm seeing right now, market is not open. So once it opens up, you know, um, we might see a bit of consolidation here. I think once it breaks this trend line and, you know, this level, then we'll see the, the, the real nice break. But um, we might just see some slow movement, you know, it might push down, but it's on a really strong, you know, liquidity. It's it's it might try to just clean this up, you know. So yeah. So I am bullish, but this is the market. Anything can happen on market open. So that said, guys, I hope you get value from this weekly um, analysis that I do every week, every Sunday night. Um, and if you want me to do anything specific, please let me know. I'll probably include that in a future video. So yes, thank you very much for tuning in and see you again next Sunday.